Oh my gosh, here it is. The Cave of Wonders. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to One Life. Today I have a secret that I want to share with you, but first I'm going to do some shopping. So I am going to need all of my diamonds because for some reason all everybody wants on this server is diamonds. Even though I personally think there are much cooler things than diamonds in this world. I think there have actually been a few new shops added since I was last here. There's Lauren's new shop, and Megan and Shelby's friendship bracelet shop, and Yami made a pet shop. However, the shop I am interested in is Joey and Megan's best friend mending shop. One mending book for 16 diamonds, or eight mending books for 64 diamonds. I think I want eight mending books for 64 diamonds. So let's say goodbye to my precious diamonds and get eight mending books. Oh my gosh, I'm never gonna have to craft another tool ever again. So now we can start adding mending to some of my tools and then they will last forever. Okay, so now that I have my unbreakable tools, it's time to go on a little journey. I'm gonna take you to my secret place and you are not gonna believe your eyes when you see it. Oh my gosh, here it is. The Cave of Wonders. Look at all that diamond ore and a mob spawner and a mine shaft. This place is insane. I am gonna be rich. Isn't this just the most magnificent cave you have ever seen? What's in this chest? <gasps> More diamonds. This place might seem like a paradise, however, it's not without its dangers. For example, over there is something deadly with a sword in its butt. So we might need to take that out first before we can explore the rest. Attack! He's not dying. Why is he not dying? <gasps> ah! No, what the heck? How do I kill him? Ah! Maybe I have to mine him. Wait, that worked. Nope, it didn't. Somehow he lost one heart. <gasps> okay, new plan, run away. Okay, <laughs> so maybe he can just stay there. What is this? Some kind of secret grove. <gasps> Beautiful. What's in the chest? Hot spring water. Come to mama. Man, this place has everything. And check this out. It's all the way underground. This entire area is a cave of wonders. Okay, I have a plan. I'm gonna mine all of the hidden diamonds that aren't visible from the surface. And now I'm gonna turn all of these diamonds into diamond blocks. I'm also gonna make some sapphire blocks. And of course, tanzanite blocks as well. Wow, look at these blocks. Aren't they beautiful? I'm gonna build the most beautiful secret base you have ever seen. So let's level this ground a little bit. So I'm gonna use dirt to level it out, but I'm gonna turn it into grass so it actually looks cute. Now all we need is some grass down here. So where is my silk touch? Let's just grab some of this. Yes. And let's go. Oh no, <gasps> no, no creeper's gonna blow up my precious mine. Let's get this grass in place. Ah! What is that? Why is there a manticore in my lair? Get out of here. So while we wait for that to spread, I'm gonna start building. I want this to look like a temple. Ta-da! The Pantheon of Diamonds. And in the center, I'm gonna build a mysterious purple thing. Ta-da! Ooh, we can have a spring in here. Flowing from the center of the star. Beautiful. The star is vomiting spring water. I'm not gonna lie, that much diamond looks a little bit tacky. Maybe there is such a thing as too many diamonds. I think I'm looking at it right now. What if we replace the pillars with this crystal? This could either look really good or really bad. Okay, I know I said the diamonds were tacky, but I think I've made it worse. Oh my gosh, it looks horrific. But maybe that just adds to its charm. Okay, now there is only one thing this place is missing and that is some guardians of the galaxy temple. <laughs> See what I did there? Yes, we need some kind of ferocious creature that is going to keep out intruders. And I know just what to find. I saw them earlier, the most savage of beasts. There it is. Oh my gosh, there are so many of them. Let's recruit them all as our guardians. They aren't gonna follow me. So I'm gonna have to push them down there and hope that they survive the fall. Okay, good news. Quite a few of the goats managed to survive the fall and prove themselves as worthy warriors. There is, however, a little bit of infighting between the guardians of the galaxy temple. But for the most part, they are peaceful goats. 
until an intruder comes along, in which case they've been trained to attack and show no mercy. So beware, don't mess with the goats. Okay, I think my work here is done. The guardians will take care of this place while I'm gone and I can come back later for some more of the diamonds. So let's head back home. Two hours later. Oh, thank goodness we made it home and it is a blood moon right now. So I am going straight to the safety of my mushroom house and I'm just gonna sleep in my spa. This is the safest place I could be right now. The next day. The blood moon is over. The beautiful daylight is shining down and somewhere around here is my manticore all grown up. There he is. Oh, look at him. How cute is he? And now that he is all grown up, apparently we can actually ride him. And since he's got wings, I think he might fly. So I'm going to craft a crafted saddle, place it on him and see where the wind takes me. So we need five leather and three iron. And I may have just crafted the death of me. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Oh, the saddle is on and I am on. This is so cool. So I can ride around on the ground like this, but can I go in the air? <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This makes travel so much faster now. Look how quickly I can get to spawn to do some shopping. <gasps> I could even start up my own shop now. Yes, and I will call it the reverse shop. Yeah, that's right. Instead of me selling them items, they are gonna bring me items and I'm gonna give them diamonds because there is no limit to my laziness. I can't be bothered to collect a stack of string or make my own food. So I'm just gonna pay other people to do it for me. So I think I'm gonna take inspiration from this bookshelf shop over here and build mine to look like a block as well. But I'm gonna make it look like a crafting table. So let's put this down as a reference. And this is basically what I want my shop to look like. Okay, well this is gonna take me the best part of a millennium, so I'll catch up with you when I'm done. All right, here we have the basic crafting table shape, and obviously it's missing the tools and the crafting grid on the top, but it's missing something else. I noticed that there were these lines going all the way through it, and wood grains, so I think we need to add in a little bit of texture. Okay, I think that looks much better. Next, I will add the tools. I'm gonna put the hammer and the saw on the front because I think they look the coolest. Okay, I take it back. It looks stupid. Oh well, let's try the hammer. Oh man, this might actually be the worst thing I've ever built. Maybe adding the tablecloth thing on the top will make it look cute, hopefully. Okay, I finished building, so it's time for the grand reveal. You kind of have to use your imagination a little bit, but I think it looks a lot like a crafting table, especially the crafting grid up here. So let's just light it up with torches so that we don't get any creepers spawning and blowing up my masterpiece. And the final thing to do is to set up the vending blocks. So here's what I'm asking for in exchange for my diamonds. If they can bring me a stack of string, I will give them a diamond. I'll give them a diamond if they bring me 12 piranha eggs or two shark eggs or one measly mother wyvern egg. And over here, they can bring me food. I'll give them a diamond if they bring me 12 golden apples, a stack of steak or a stack of venison. And I'm rather generously offering one diamond for one cake. I just really want a cake. And over here, I'm offering a diamond for four four fire protection upgrades, two diamonds for four advanced fire protection upgrades, and some diamonds in exchange for projectile protection upgrades. Because this whole time, I've been running around with unenchanted armor. So hopefully some people will come along and bring me some things in exchange for my diamonds. If you have any ideas for what else I should ask for in my reverse shop, please let me know in the comments, and I will see you next time.